said, perhaps a bit more into the matchup, Squirtle can really be a nuisance for Wolf to deal with, especially at low and mid percents, and Shine knows that. So it's going to be game one, the ranked Shine against the unranked Exeosher, Pokemon Trainer versus Wolf, and Shine is just going to be very careful to begin this, because once he's out of that low percent, he's going to be forced to switch away from Squirtle, who does best in the matchup. Early grab. Look at this damage he's been able to attack on just from three early throw combos. 68% onto Exeosher already. Air dodged away safely, but the fair into Nair from Exeosher will make some of this back. Ethler rolls away, but that air dodge in the wrong direction. Tex in place again. This time Tex to the left. Shine, it looks like, is just going to be sticking with the Squirtle, unafraid of perhaps losing his stock a bit early to a random down smash. But that up smash, it's such a potent out of shield tool. It's frame 13, and it scoops from such a far distance. Exyosher is going to take the first stock, and you have to imagine that Ivysaur or Charizard would have lived that up smash too. A couple of lasers from Exyosher now. These are going to be a, such highly developed tools, and if they can connect, they're going to be doing upwards of 7% with the Rage. Good f to get Shine back off stage. And he's charging up the down smash a bit too early on the release. Although that drop down back air through the platform. Shine is going to be sticking with Charizard. Perhaps just hasn't been afforded the opportunity to switch back to Squirtle. But ends with an air and gets him with the back throw. Goes for the back air and he's going to play it out with the Charizard it looks like. This tech into the down smash from Exyosher. Utilized his second jump to make it back. Crossed him up with an air though, and the back row is almost gonna do it. We saw the red sparks. He's going off stage with an air though. Back attack from Exyosher. Shine is living to 171%. That Nair is gonna send him just back onto the stage. Back throw. Can use that shine to make it back. Once again, could we see a forward throw kill? We will, with a bit of rage and a bit of luck. But Shine just read the right get up option, and all of a sudden it looked grim for him, but dipped too low and is going to SD for that second stock. Goes back to Squirtle, with which he was doing most of his damage in the first stock. With which he was doing all of his damage in the first stock, rather, but has to be careful that he doesn't fall victim to an early up smash out of shield. Gets around the X-Out with the withdraw though. And he's gonna switch back to Ivysaur. Does not want to repeat that same early death. Back though this time from Shine. Stuffs it out with one of his own aerials and that's just gonna trade, but Shine still over. Well, I was gonna say over 60% down, but that Vine Whip is gonna bring it back a little bit. And now Shina is right back in this, landing there from Exyosher. Switches back to Charizard, it's do or die time for him, rolls back onto stage. Up smash not gonna connect through the platform. This one won't either, Wolf's up smash will, Exyosher is gonna take game one. Staves off the comeback and just held his ground. Two up smashes out of shield is gonna rob Shine of stocks one and three, and that combined with the XD is going to be barely enough to tip the balance in his favor. Shine just musing a counter pick at this point. It looks like he's gonna stick with the Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon yeah, it looks like. Just a mental lapse in stock one. Tried to continue with that stage pressure and the ledge pressure and when you have Squirtle out, you're just vulnerable to dying to really any of Wolf's smash attacks at sub 100%. But this time, Shine is going to keep the faith in the character. He's going to switch a lot earlier this time. No damage registered, but up to 45%. Going to be better safe than sorry. Waits out the spot dodge with a grab and another up air and an air. And now he's going into Charizard, so a character that we've really been seeing put in a lot more. Wow, that killed very early. Not quite sure what the DI was from Exeosher, but nevertheless, he died at 70-something percent after the hit. Back 
on stage for the Nair, though. Although that flash back gets the spike hitbox, the sweet spot. It does need the sweet spot to get the spike, but Shine was just caught off guard, and Ex Yosher, before things get too out of hand, is back into this. Although Shine is still having and enjoying this untouched second stock thus far. Ex Yosher, of course, already up to 102%. A laser will register something, but has to do a lot more than that. He is in the percent for where down throw to dash attack will be true, but dash attack off of a Nair might also work. And drift back to the ledge, and another back air from Shine is going to put Ex Yosher onto his final stock. Shine already looking a lot better, showing that he doesn't necessarily have to make a character switch. Backer will get him back. Although bypasses the ledge with a wolf, with a fire wolf, the bayonet hitbox of the blaster. And goes high with the da- Very high with the back air indeed. Ex Yosher, I believe, got two of his three stocks taken below 100%. Shine was all over his movement there. That will set up a decisive game three between the two of them. So it will remain Wolf against Pokemon Trainer into Game 3. It's going to be Town and City as the venue this time. Two consecutive rollbacks from Exyosher. Gets an early grab, goes for the up throw into up air. Wise decision because he probably would not have had the space for a down throw dash attack on top of the platform, but switches to Ivysaur now. Gets the middle hitboxes of the Nair, which are prime real estate for a drag down, but Shine unable to react to that in time. This time he'll just use the Nair as a coverage option. Siosha waiting at that ledge for quite a while. His invulnerability had been long gone, but if Shine wasn't going to approach, he wasn't going to leave. Down tilt, not going to do the trick, and a couple, of Yo a couple of Yosher's lasers will have him trapped on the platform, but only momentarily. Charizard coming out for the first time. You can see the back throw. Gets the angle correctly on the Firewolf, and a quick forward throw. Puts him off stage, but two frames in with the F-Tilt. Shine is going to be the first one to lose that first off. Does not want to lose in the second round of pools, but X Yosher keeping it on and piling on the pressure. Too early on the down air, though. With the F tilt. Dash attack from Shine. Just gonna flash back this time. with a fair, and after a whiffed option, he's going to go for the F-Tilt as well. Had Shine trapped on top of the platform, but this is going to be a back throw, or just an up throw kill from Shine. Had either option to go for whatever the DI was, he was already out of that stock as soon as the grab came in at 171%. Goes fourth with an air. Back here only going to meet with his shield in the air. Such a deceptively large hitbox from Wolf. Does not land the down smash, though. Backthrow wanted, perhaps a tech chase with that, but at too high of a percent to even. Caught off guard with a missed tech there. Yosher slightly in the lead, although after that down throw from Shine, it's going to be reversed. When the flare blitz his way back to the stage, it did expire to the point where it was barely punishable and 100% the right move there. Jumps above the up smash and gets one of his own. Shine is going to send Exyosher to his final stock. The favorite holding his ground. Who knows for how long. Back air will put Exyosher 
at 40%, but Shine perhaps just DIing right in time. Those multi hits of the Firewolf afforded him the opportunity to shift his control stick, but the dash attack is going to sweet spot onto Shine. Now we're down to a last stock situation. Yosher only 40% down, can make this back. Lands with both hitbox of the blaster though. Switch is going to interrupt the combo and is just going to double switch to Charizard this time. Bear from Chine. These back bears, they do auto cancel. So for Yosher, perhaps not as effective as you keep going for them, but they will kill. Did see the red sparks there with the back air, but Charizard's weight allowing him to live that one. Perhaps not too many more, though. Gets the dare spike, though, and Shine gets that reversal just in time. Ex Yosher was already mounting the comeback and piling on the pressure, but Shine refusing to say die, and he's going to be moving on. The favorite barely.